Hi, I'm Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And in this video tutorial, we're going to go through adding in the buy button sales channels. So if you saw my other videos, we already added in the Facebook and Pinterest sale channels. So that way we could actually sell on those different social media networks. So this time we're going to go through adding in the buy button, which lets you then embed your products on other websites or blogs and actually have people be able to purchase from there. So to do that, we are just going to hit this plus sign for sales channels and it's gonna pop up a display for us to choose from. So we're just gonna click this buy button. We're gonna click add. So now that the buy button sales channel is installed, which you can always get back to in this left-hand menu by clicking on buy button, we are now going to go through adding in our products or collections that we want to showcase this on. So I am wanting to showcase this on a blog post that I did for a men's holiday shopping guide. So this is for my site, The Delightful Gent, which sells men's accessories like bags, watches, and sunglasses. So the items in this guide, uh, the bag and the two watches are actually ones that we sell on this site. So we want to have it posted here so that people can quickly purchase it right after seeing this blog post. So let's go back to the Shopify backend. So we could choose to either do a select product. So you could choose the select product and pick your products from here. However, since I have three different products, I've actually gone in and created a collection with them. So from this collection, I'm just going to embed the collection of products so that it's a little bit easier for people to shop. So I'm gonna click this select collection. And then I'm then going to pick this men's holiday shopping guide and hit select collection. And then you see it gives us our options here. So we're gonna have this click on action on click be the add to cart. So this will actually add it directly to their cart. And we're gonna keep the image. You could choose this to be small, medium, or large. However, I think this is a good size. And so we're just gonna go through these options and customize things a little bit. So for the button style, instead of the green, I have the hex color that I'm using for my buttons on my site currently. So I'm going to do it a blue just to match that. And I'm gonna take away the rounded corners. So I'm really just doing this to make it match my site currently. You can make it to show the quantity field. However, these products aren't really ones that you would buy um, multiples of. So I'm going to avoid doing that for now and click back here and do typography. And so I am using the railway font on the site. So I'm going to go in and choose the railway font. So again, that way it's just matching our branding. Okay. And I could even choose, you know, to do the headings, we could do railway bold. So the headings are nice and bold. And then the prices after that. And then for shopping cart, so I'm actually embedding this on my site, so it would just automatically add it to my shopping cart, which I have a shopping cart pop-up of, of this special cart on my site already. However, if you were to embed this on a blog post or somewhere else, uh, not on your site, it would pop up this little icon here to show how many products you have to your cart. And if it was clicked, then they could actually proceed with the checkout there. So we're gonna keep that, that looks great. And we're just gonna scroll up. So everything is now set up to how we want it to be. So we're just gonna hit generate code. And I'm going to copy this, or you could just hit the copy button there. And then I'm gonna to go to my blog post since I want to embed it there. So I'm in the back end now of my blog post. So I'm under online store blog post and in the individual blog post. So something important to keep in mind is that you need to hit this show HTML button. So doing this will actually let us paste our code in. If you were to paste it without that, um, it would look very funny. So we're just gonna hit save and it also wouldn't work right. So definitely make sure to hit this show HTML and let's head back to our blog post area and hit refresh. 
And so now we are seeing this actually showing up underneath the post. So here's our image, and then people can actually add the products to the cart directly from here. So we're just gonna hit add to cart. And now you can see this popping up of how it would show up in terms of them being able to purchase on the site. So there's one more cool functionality. Let's head back to the buy button area and we're just gonna hit buy button at the top. So I showed you how to embed it on a site. However, you can also embed a product in an email. So if you're sending out an email campaign that has specific products that you want to actually embed the product right in your email, you can choose this select product and include the buy button email and go through the same process and it'll give you code to put out in your email campaign. So this is a really cool way to extend the functionality of your site so that it makes it even easier for people to purchase a product that they like from you really quickly without having to try and navigate to your store and find the product there. So I definitely recommend setting this up on your online store. And if you haven't yet, check out my other videos of how to set up the Facebook and Pinterest sales channels because those will also really add some nice functionality to your site. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to get more videos just like this.